We believe that all students want to be successful. We also believe that they can accomplish this with a caring, compassionate staff, a supportive environment, a school with a strong, respectful community, and a flexible yet challenging curriculum. Our mission is to serve students who wish to take control of their education, who are highly motivated and tenacious learners, who need to learn differently, who have strengths that aren't recognized in a traditional classroom, or who may not function well in a traditional classroom because of learning style, social behavior, or physical appearance. We create strong, positive relationships with our students. We emphasize student-driven learning. Students learn through projects that are relevant and meaningful to their lives. I feel that this form of education is by far more meaningful. That point to me has always been just one big opportunity. Some people say that you, it takes a community to raise a child, and there's versions of that. High point is a community. Everything depends on you. You can't blame it on anybody else. If you do great, it's because of you, but if you do bad, then it's also because of you. I think it's a lot better than any of the schools I've been at because it's got more of that family atmosphere. Everybody seems to get along really, really well, and it's easy to get a lot of score done in minimal time. I feel comfortable being here. It's it's a great experience and something that I really, really love to be a part of. That we get to learn about what we want to learn about, and that we don't necessarily have like a daily schedule. The ability to do what you want and learn what you want when you want. What worked for me is that I could really play to my interests. I like the atmosphere of it. It's like everyone just like wants to learn and think. For one, uh, the atmosphere. Uh, you can come here and you feel more comfortable. The 7 through 12 all together and the opportunity for people of all ages to interact with each other and get to know each other and work together. It didn't work for me mostly because I don't know. I got tons of homework, you know, the old homework story. But uh, I get home at night. I, you know, I was busy. I do my homework and I stay up late at night, all night, trying to do homework because I couldn't keep my mind on it. Once I started getting up to seventh, eighth grade, it it felt like. We weren't spending enough time on the stuff that I really wanted to learn about. I was having trouble in the traditional setting with, uh, like I was studying things that were a little more advanced than what the classes taught, and I wanted the ability more to apply and do things instead of just sit in the classroom and prepare. I was ready to apply. Um, I was more of a visual hands-on learner, and I just didn't get that at the middle school. I had attended the middle school before I came to High Point, and I had a hard time sitting still, um, having to just listen, not being able to get up and do other things. And so when I heard about High Point, I thought it would be a neat way to still get my education, but be able to move around and do things differently. During my mechanics training, uh, there's eight different specializations after school that you have to do. Okay. And then uh, hopefully soon I'll be moving up out of the loop position. I think I was fairly well prepared compared to other my peers in the classroom. Um, time management 
was really big. One of the biggest things I got out of High Point was learning how to manage my time by myself. Because now in my job, I don't have someone always saying, you have to do this or make sure you do that. I have to do that myself. And when I was in school, we took a lot of classes on how to manage your time. And so many people never have had to do that. So it was difficult for them, but I was used to blocking things out and making sure I got things done. I have, um, I'm, I'm not afraid to ask for help when I know I need it, which is what High Point also helped with. And I guess determination and motivation and perseverance all comes from High Point as well. Most students, when they go to college, that first year, it's freedom. They have to learn from that point on who they are, what they believe in, where they're going in life, and many struggle with it. Our students are doing that here every day. I guess to uh, make school and learning relevant for the students. Well, I think one of the really exciting things about High Point is that that is one of the things that it celebrates is the unique differences of kids giving students a voice in what's important to them, what they want to learn versus um, what we think they should learn. We think that building the relationship is first and foremost what is needed to help those students in the long run. We could give them content all day long, like the traditional system, but if the underlying needs that they have are not met, they may not be able to receive that content. By taking away grades here, one of the things that we've seen is that students, that pressure of grades and doing things for the teacher's sake goes away. Now students do things for their own sake. Changed me, completely changed me. The idea of, of learning. Like before, it was first course for learning, you didn't really care about it. You, you know, you do it to get it, you know, done with or whatever, I don't know. But you come here and you have all this freedom. And at first, you take advantage of the freedom, but then you hunker down and you you realize what it's for and you start using that freedom for learning so like interest and stuff and it's really helpful all you have to do is really apply yourself and basically opportunities are in they prioritize their time they have to quickly think they have to problem solve they have to be able to work independently, and they have to be able to work effectively in groups. I think some of it has to do with freedom. I think everybody wants freedom, and so I think the traditional model really um, sets, up, sets up a real power. The teachers have this ultimate power that's very unrealistic because Nowhere in the real world are you parked in a room with 20 other people your exact same age, expected to do the exact same thing with one person basically cracking the whip over you.